I didn't see you there. You know, since the invention of the computer, mankind has strived to increase its capability and overall performance. It is true, of course, that some people are far more comfortable with modern computer technology than others. There's no denying that its computers have become much more portable and powerful over time. The way they impact our lives increases incredibly on a daily basis. It's hard to imagine a world without computers. Computer pioneers could only dream about the capabilities of the modern computer. And as we know, the journey is far from over. But there is a problem. So join me now as I spend the rest of the budget and travel to the United States and ask some people some basic questions about computers. Hi, excuse me. What, what would you say was your biggest computer challenge? When I did put security software on my PC, it would drive me insane because I couldn't load anything I wanted to. I got a virus that just ate everything in sight. I wound up having to get a new hard drive and, and just starting from scratch. How would you gauge the speed of your PC? The computer's too slow. I really don't surf a lot at home and it's just gone from really nice to not even worth turning on. So what do you guys want from security software? Security software has to be reliable. I want it to work and I don't want to have to think about it. Okay, yep. I'm more sensitive to security than I used to be. I use the programs uh, that I use on an everyday basis and I don't like to try new things. <laughs> As we've just seen, a computer's performance can be negatively affected by external forces, forces such as viruses, spyware, or something as simple as spilling a thick, viscous seafood chowder all over your keyboard. Believe me, you'd be surprised how often this happens. There are, of course, ways to avoid these kinds of problems, most of which I'm not really qualified to talk about. In the case of the seafood chowder, however, it's probably best to avoid eating these kinds of soups and bisques while you're working at your computer workstation. At the end of the day, a computer that fails to operate to its full potential is likely to cause frustration for the user, and the user may then take his or her frustration out on the people around them. We have to remember that a computer is a tool, and that tool must function as best it can at all times, because ultimately, if it doesn't, we may end up taking out our frustrations on the computer itself. Simplicity is the key. 